is the main line of the Queen's Indian defense. So it's important after g3 to go ahead and play bishop b4 because this gives them the opportunity to transpose into what we already know, the knight c3. But typically they're going to play bishop d2 or knight d2. So in either case, after bishop d2, we got some nice a5 maneuver. And then after bishop g2, okay. That's a fine move there. You can play that. Bishop b7 is probably more accurate, though, because it's, it is actually focusing on the fact that the long diagonal is open. And now, if they ever play a3, you grab. Or when they break this pin, you don't want your bishop to get stuck out, so that's when you grab. Yep, so that's correct. Now, there's two different ways to play here, queen takes or knight takes. If queen takes, knight e4, f5. If knight takes, you just castle. After queen c2, d6, if he gets in e4, can you play e5 yet? So we prevent him from playing e5. So what do we do then? If he can get in e5, it's a problem. So we take. take. Can you play e5? Looks like you can play e5. Okay, yep, good.